So I got a nice video for y'all today. It seemed like 2K is experiencing a migration, so to speak. But <laughs> people are going back to old 2Ks. I can't make this up. <laughs> and y'all been saying 2K ain't got no competition for years. I've been saying y'all ain't even know what y'all talking about. He got so many other options out there. And right now, 2K... They might take a huge hit coming up soon, man. So we got a lot to speak about, of course. So without further ado, grab yourself a brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done now. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like on the video. Definitely help the channel out, because you know your boy gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section and type first, second, third, know the gang of Brew Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, we gotta start off with this tweet here from Double H, of course, right? And this got some amazing results that I want to share with y'all because there have been a huge debate on which one is the favorite 2K of all time and which 2K if they will return. And pretty much this was a poll based around it. said nearly 20,000 votes about OG 2K. It wasn't even close. Very interesting. And the question was very simple, of course. He said, if 2K released a 2K OG like Fortnite, which 2K would you want to see? And NBA 2K20 dominated with damn near 51% of 18,000 votes. That's a lot. That's a huge sample size. Now, of course, second place was 2K16 with 21%, third place 2K17 with 20%, and 2K19 was 6%. In last place, and then they got other three. That's probably the 2K18 lovers right there. So I just want to share with you, y'all, man. And I want y'all to put in the comment section which 2K would y'all prefer to make a comeback. Now the thing about 2K20, it was pandemic made. We have to admit, but let's be honest, it was still one of the best, most balanced experience we had. The legend rewards was great. After that, the legend rewards kind of got a little. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the grind overall was just a great experience. But still, we got to put that caveat. It was still pandemic made, okay? Because it started off rough like this 2K, how it started off. This 2K started off amazing. Then it got rough real quick. And then it made a comeback. That's what happened to NBA 2K20. So we still got hope for NBA 2K20. In fact, I'm still having a lot of fun with this game, bro, which is weird to me. But that's probably because I just don't play hella hours all day on this game. That might be why I'm still enjoying this game to the extent I am. But let's continue on. Now, remember NBA 2K made a post yesterday saying they basically didn't change anything after the Season 2 update when it comes to shooting. A lot of people in the 2K community pretty much accuse them of lying. Now, I don't like to call people liars. So I'm saying it's ignorance. They just don't know and just don't play the game. So I basically still gave them the benefit of the doubt. But I kind of kicked their head in on that video yesterday. I got to be 100 with y'all. Now, Luck TV tweeted this out. He said, revert everything back to first two weeks just needed delay fix and it was good and i have to agree with that of course man i gotta be a hundred to be honest with y'all because no one really asked for those changes which was basically they actually buffed the close shot and the wide open jump shot like nobody asked for that but people was asking for the limitless range badge buff by the way i have to say that i gotta give them that much but removing the variable shot timing to defensive pressure, nobody really asks for that. To be honest, it makes more sense if someone is closing out on me, I want to release the ball faster. It only made sense. So when they tried to balance it out by removing that 
Till this day, I struggle with that. Till this day, when a defender comes close to me or is close now to me, I still release it a little too fast because we're kind of used to that system over the past few years. Let me know your thoughts on that. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit more serious. It seems like people are going back to NBA 2K23. I can't make this up. That game where everybody was complaining about the variable shot time and that brute love so much. I still love that shooting system. Y'all have no idea. I miss it, y'all. It wasn't all this stress and chaos. I miss it, man. But anyways, Garcelle posts this tweet and posts this clip on Twitter where he actually went back to NBA 2K23 and guess what? The parks are filled, y'all. Check this clip out. I can't make it up. I can't make it up at all. They're going back to the game they bashed, bro. And I got to be honest. I really, really like NBA 2K23. I can't go back. I'm sorry, man. I'm someone who looked forward in life, man. I don't look back, but I'm sorry. I can't. And I, I just prefer this game overall. I do. Outside of all the chaos. Probably because I don't play the game all day non-stop and I only put a few hours in every day while I'm on stream with y'all just chilling and vibing, of course. If y'all missing your boy when he's online, just check out your boy Twitch. The link is in the description. Trust your boy. Now, that might be why I'm not really stressed with 2K as much as most people are. But at the end of the day, I still understand it is a frustrating thing every day getting on and the inconsistencies with the jump shot yesterday i got on the first game i missed a few shots and guess what that entire game i was not able to hit no wide open jump shot and the next game i went and just was going lights out make it make sense 2k make it make sense the momentum system in the game is too strong i don't know what caused it but that momentum system in the game is crazy right now but i always hear people saying yo 2k don't have competition but in my opinion 2k been having competition it might be a basketball game competition but it's a competition with different games now shoot tweets i said everybody going back to fortnite i think i read this book before and then devcon you know devcon he posts a lot of amazing montages with real nba players and kind of syncing it with 2k clips man he does a great job check out his twitter he got amazing stuff on there now he said not gonna lie it's kind of fun but i know it's probably be a sad two week phase like most games so what he's saying is basically we go on to some other games and we only spend like two weeks of going in and then bashing two games we come back to 2k y'all know how it goes double h tweet this out he said looks like everybody in the 2k community going to cod or fortnite or becoming a sports gambler or bodybuilder i'm dying with the bodybuilder thing man oh my god now yeah a lot of people right now is just find other things to do man and we understand right now the og fortnite is hot card is about to drop now hang the tank tweet this out say og fortnite is back card modern warfare 3 in two days and grand theft auto 6 release date announcement and trailer in a week it's not looking good at all for 2k24 now the thing that jump out to me, because of course I get card every single year. Call of Duty is one of those games that get my money. I play it based on how I feel. I probably ain't going to play it for the rest of the year. And it's all good with me because I'm a card head. I've been a card head, right? But that Grand Theft Auto 6? Bro, the last Grand Theft Auto drop when I was probably in college, bro. That, they've been riding that train for a while now. <laughs> I ain't going front. But that Grand Theft Auto 6? Now, 
the thing is, they're gonna be dropping the trailer, and I know y'all don't know this because Daily Loud actually posted today saying Rockstar is revealing Grand Theft Auto 6 this week with the official trailer coming soon, according to Bloomberg. Now, the thing is, I don't expect this game to drop this year at all. In fact, this game announced it now might drop middle next year. So we're gonna have some time. But when this game drop, the gaming community is gonna go. <laughs> we gotta call it what it is. Now, people keep saying again that 2K don't have any competition. But once you're a gamer, there is always competition. Overall, I gotta be honest with y'all, I'm still having a lot of fun with NBA 2K24. I know y'all gonna boot me, but I don't play it all day and I'm not a calm player. I'm a pure casual player who just get on a few hours and have fun with my stream and chill with my guys, y'all. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. And that might be the best approach for everybody to take right now. Now as a solo player, bro, Oh my god, I play some solo wreck, boy. Oh my god, the level is... I ain't gonna front. I never thought it could get this low. <laughs> I never thought it could get this low. So, my advice to y'all is don't take the game that serious, man. And just try to have fun with it. As soon as you get enough, get off. Go do something with your life. Touch some grass. It ain't that deep. But there is a lot of different options out there when it comes to gaming. And... Hopefully they get this thing right, they figure out this shooting because right now, in my opinion, the momentum system in this game is crazy. That's what we're talking about when it comes to inconsistencies. I think the momentum system in this game is out of whack. And I, that's why I think the biggest issue is overall. Because if you start missing too early, you pretty much could call it a game, y'all. But overall, the momentum system, I think, is what is pissing a lot more people off than you think y'all and that is the direction i would have sent 2k2 if i had the air but anyways man let me know what y'all think man let me know what games y'all are looking forward to or what games y'all are playing right now outside of 2k or if y'all just pure 2k gamers and y'all don't play anything else of course put it in the comment section so you already know your boy sim man if you're first time to the channel, make sure to like the video, share the video, hit your boy and subscribe. Listen to me. We on that road to 200k. It's on the way. But if you're not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's going to be informed. Y'all, your boy Simon, love, respect, bless up. Peace.